So our two key performance parameters, which is a real attribute of the program the Navy decided, is carrier suitability and aerial refueling. What we see when we get to the next tranche of testing after we've gone through this early phase with the early aircraft mm -hmm. is really going after the carrier suitability and the true air-to-air -air refueling. This phase, aeronautical engineering and burning off the uh, software to take off, be autonomous, and fly. What's been the biggest challenge you guys have kind of run into on the program so far? I think the biggest challenge is making sure that we synchronize, right? So we've got the activity going on with our aircraft, mm -hmm. we've got the design activity, and then of course making sure that we stay in sync with how the Navy is going to bring it onto the carrier. And how's the refueling side of it coming? Refueling is not something exactly that's a stranger to Boeing, so it's not no, something we've never done before. Absolutely. But the unmanned side, that's completely different from anything that's ever really been done. Well, in one respect it is. The great thing is we're leveraging how the Super Hornet today refuels. So that same pod that the Super Hornet is using coming off the carrier today mm -hmm. is the same pod we'll be using. So our objective is to take that burden off those combat-coated aircraft, those uh, strike and attack aircraft, and put it into our aircraft. The refueling piece is going to be very similar. So we're using the same pods and we're going to use the same methodology. Now we have to go prove that out, and that's part of our development activity. How's the how does the integration of that onto? The, is it built? Is it a pod that would actually go on the MQ on the on the on the aircraft itself, or is it integrated in because it is a design tanker? It's a pod, and it's going to have to be integrated in so that we can pull gas out of the airplane and mm -hmm. push it through the pod. Very similar to how the Super Hornet does today. So that that I think was our, our our biggest advantage. We have the knowledge of what we're doing with the Super Hornet. We've got experience with the pod, and our experience with autonomy is is all coming together. Is there going to need to be a, a detailed certification for working with other aircraft in the air wing, or is it pretty simple to get uh, to work with other aircraft, like say the F-35 as it's coming in, the Ospreys that they're that they're going to be flying, and things like that? So uh, we're going to start out with Super Hornet. We're going to build. Uh, it takes it takes a development activity and and progression, but it should be stri fairly straightforward. And and again, that's been done with the F-18 and that same pod, so it should be fairly straightforward. And finally wrapping up, looking at all that you guys have coming ahead, what are you most excited about? Getting to see this thing in the air finally? or Well, in the near term, in 2019, we can't wait to see the airplane flying because that's showing progress and early learning for the Navy. Mm -hmm. But our real, uh, our real goal is getting carrier air wing capability out there. And that's certainly the Navy's priority. So giving them autonomous aerial refueling off the carrier, that's what we're here for.